I'd like to give a short update today on the white sturgeon. Two of them are doing very well. The one-eyed one that was the barber doing well and one of the original or the replacement, I don't know if it's the replacement, yeah, doing also well. But one of the originals is not doing so well. He has not been ever since still in the black tub as I was acclimating them from 65 Fahrenheit to 80 Fahrenheit. He's really thin, he's withering away slowly. You can, you can see that he grabs food, I mean, see, he's looking for it. He's gonna grab a lot of food, but he keeps spitting it out. I don't know if he eats much of it, judging from how fast he's losing his body mass. I mean, it's not fast, but he's, he keeps losing and losing and losing slowly. He either doesn't eat it much or doesn't eat it all. See, he's grabbing a lot of pellets and pieces of fish too but I also see him spitting it out spitting it out a lot so I don't know what his, his deal is as I said he was doing it even at a low temperature so this is not the, the effect of the temperature he was doing it at 65 remember that my video where I said finally the last one caved in and, and feeding that was about this troublesome uh, white surgeon see his it looks like he's eating a lot, so I, I was happy. But he just keeps withering away. It's pretty thin, his head is much thicker than his body. See, he... Maybe he's got a parasite, I don't know. Maybe he eats okay, but the parasite is sucking the life out of him. But I doubt it, I mean, I've never seen as many fish as I cut up, cut up, I've never seen like a huge worm or something inside that would live there and like a tapeworm or something. I've never come across one in 20 years and I, and I lost a lot of fish and I, a lot of them I cut, cut open to take a look inside. So I don't know, maybe again, you can you can write off anything on parasites because you don't know. But he's got an appetite, see, he's eating. I don't understand why he's withering away. He seems to be eating, he's expelling some pellets through his gills, he spits some of them out. But still, he's, he's going for it, he's had the, he has the appetite. See? These uh, white tips of his armor on the top, that's the work of the Python Chinese loach or shark. I would have never expected it, but sometimes when the shark gets hungry, he kind of comes up to this sturgeon and uh, works his mouth on, on, on right on the very top of him. And that's what causes those, that whiteness. And the sturgeon doesn't run away. Others do, see, others are, they look pretty good. No damage on them, no, nothing suspicious on them anyway. They have a decent body mass. Their uh, tummy girth is equal with their head. But with this guy, the head is probably twice thicker than the stomach girth. Or significantly thicker, I should say. So I'm kind of stumped, but uh, you know, why would two of them be doing well? Especially the bobber one, the one-eyed one, that almost died. The one that I stuck a needle into trying to suck the air out of his swimming bladder. And he undergone a pretty gruesome procedure. He was bobbing for a month or more, couldn't go down in the water. He bounced back and looks nice, doing well. And this one, this guy that never had any big problems, just... The best I described it, he's slowly dying. Despite 
as you can see, eating and eating and eating, as if he's eating. Once again, either he's just spitting it all out, or he can digest it. Or some kind of a macro parasite inside, parasites. Don't let him digest it. Micro or macro, I don't know. As you can see all this time, he's munching on the pellets. I mean he's sucking them he's sucking them in. The crumbs, the pellets. He has the appetite. Oh, oh I mean ever since he started eating in the tub. Half a year ago, so maybe even more. He was doing that, but in the top I couldn't tell. He always looked at all the thin, but from the top, and back then maybe it wasn't so bad. But once I put him in the tank and I started observing them closely and regularly, it's obvious to me he's just thinning and thinning away. He's also lethargic, of course, because he has low energy. But look, he's, he's forging around, looking where the pellets are, and small pieces of fish. Sometimes he sucks in a big piece of fish. I don't know, maybe he usually spits it out when I look away. They tend to munch on the piece of fish for a while, and then if they don't like it, they spit it out. But they may not do it right away. They take their time. They may take their time, not always, but... often enough. But those are really nice pilots. I mean, those are new life spectrum pilots. And again, my benchmark is the other two are thriving, more or less, even though this, right now we're at 82 Fahrenheit. While their home, one of their homes in uh, San Francisco Bay is probably at steady 65. So they're, uh, 17, 18, 18 Fahrenheit above their home average. But the two of them are doing well. And again, I, I, I keep I feel like I'm repeating myself. In the tub, it was the same thing. So it's, it's a, this problem is particular to that sturgeon. It has nothing to do with the conditions. Because the other two are doing well. There's something to do in this sturgeon and it's a personal problem. And I don't know what to do about it. Maybe I should give him some a Prozicontel shot or something. It'll be scary, stressful for him. I just I could give it through food, but I don't know if he's eating all the food. It looks like he's eating, but maybe he's spitting it out, kind of under his breath or through his gills, and I don't notice it much. I mean, you you've been watching him eat for the last. Eight minutes with me. So tell me what you notice. I think he's eating. I, I don't see. I mean, he's spitting out some. He just spat out some, but it doesn't look like he's spitting everything out. I guess he's eating something because. If he ate nothing, he would have been dead, long dead. We've had him for uh, like eight months now or something, or nine months. Probably eight months. So he must be eating something. But it's clearly not, not enough for him to sustain his weight and his life. So he's slowly losing weight, getting thinner and thinner. The eels turn into pigs, I mean, they're really thick. They eat everything, pellets, fish, they love fish now. So no problem there. High fin doing okay. The clown knife is doing well. Well, that's our Enigma of the day.
if you have any good thoughts, let me know. Thank you.